And now I have Hayden Doyle here with me. Hayden, once again on the score sheet, two weeks in a row. Yeah, no, it's a pleasing uh, start for me. Um, I was a bit fortunate in the, in the goal there today. Um, yeah, it just sort of bobbled around the box and luckily it was in the right place at the right time. So, yeah, it's good. You're making a habit of that this year, aren't you? Yeah, no, it's, um, I mean, it's easy when you've got good players around you. So, I mean, with the support of uh, some of the front players, we've got Heggers and Gustavo and Burtz, obviously there's some good players feeding you the ball. So it's quite, yeah, chances come quite frequently. So That first 15, 20 minutes of football today was probably the best 15 or 20 minutes of football I've seen from any <laughs> team in a number of years. Uh, yeah. Is it just all beginning to click? Yeah, I think so. I mean, um, Coyne did say we we're going to take a little, little bit longer to get going this year. We didn't um, hit us so hard in pre-season, so I think we're really finding our straps now. And um, yeah, I mean, that first 20 minutes or so today, we were just everything was coming off for us. And um, yeah, it was, it was, if only we continued it throughout the game, we might have got a few more goals. So I was just going to ask. So what happened in the second half? <laughs> yeah, I think it's a, a little bit of a mental thing when you go three 0 up and the players sort of get a little bit um, laxy daisy and start doing the wrong things and you know it's a mental thing like I say I think even even Joondalup maybe sat off us a little bit more and um, yeah. Well, would it have been also like uh, as somebody said after the game trying to shear it around too much instead of being just greedy and having a go? Yeah maybe um, I mean I think we need to be a little bit more clinical um, mm. a few of the guys on the sidelines said you know it could have been four or five if we had taken our chances oh. but um, as far as sharing it around I don't think the boys are sharing it around I think they all <laughs> want to score so it's just a matter of taking our chances when they when we get them. Yeah, Would it be I suppose uh, because this is the second week now that it's happened that the opposition have come back in after a big lead would it be a case of uh, the pre-season maybe it's going to take another couple of weeks to get you up for a full 90 minutes of football yeah I mean uh, Stu sort of said during the uh, second half and when I was off that that's um we've lost the second half two weeks in a row so it's disappointing but again I think it's a mental thing we go two or three up and we um start getting a little bit complacent and let teams back in the game and it happened with uh, Subiaco last week so I think we just need to be um a little bit more switched on throughout the second half and finish games off better. So, yeah. Now your own form since you've moved from uh, Sterling, it's really been very, very good, hasn't it? And uh, what do you put that down to? Although you were good at Sterling last season as well. Yeah. Um, uh, again, I think it's the players I've got around me. It's the coaching staff. I mean, uh, Coney seems to get the best out of the boys. He pushes us all pretty hard, and they don't accept second best here. It's um, although it's a you know the state league, it, it's almost like an A league environment. Mm. So um, I think that brings the best out of players and it's it's bringing the best out of me that's for sure so yeah well that's that's the same as what sam said uh, last week basically the professionalism that's at the club is what's shining through yeah no I, I noticed it as soon as i come into the dressing room there's just no um you know they don't don't take players doing the wrong thing they mm. you know everyone's on training on time and um you know, you make a mistake in training, you've got four or five players yelling at you, you know, and the other, other sort of state league environments I've been in, it's more easy going, um, whereas they demand sort of high standards on the field and off the field, and I mean, you can see it when you come down to Bayswater with the change rooms and everything, you know, so it's pretty professional. No, it is pretty professional, I must say that it, uh, indeed, and again, congratulations on your start to the season, hopefully it will continue for Bayswater's point of view. Yeah, no, definitely, I think we just got to keep going the way we are, and um, um, yeah, keep winning, that's the main thing. <laughs> okay, yeah. that was Hayden Doyle. Thank you very, very much, Hayden. Thanks. Yeah.